What's shaking, cocktail fans? I'm Modern Bar Cart CEO Eric Koslick, and today we are going to be making my favorite cocktail, the last word. And we're going to be using this cocktail to talk about a concept called the wash line. Now, what the heck's a wash line? Well, very simply, in the cocktail world, the wash line is the point in the glass that the drink comes up to. And this might seem to be sort of an inconsequential or unimportant detail when it comes to cocktails, right? You, you just want the thing to taste good. But the aesthetics and presentation of a drink are also very important. So you don't want a wash line that's too low because that can basically project to someone that, you know, they're not getting a full serving or somehow they're, they're not being, you know, treated um, by the host in a way that is generous, right? Those are the connotations that gives off. On the other hand, you don't want the wash line to be too high because then what happens? The drink gets spilled everywhere. So when it comes to wash lines, I like it to be in that little Goldilocks zone between where it looks insufficient and where you might spill it. And usually this is about 15% below the rim of the glass. So we've got a, a standard coupe glass here, and we are going to now make the last word cocktail, and we're gonna see what a nice wash line looks like in a cocktail. The reason why I selected the last word is because it's got this beautiful milky green color that, that shows really nice contrast. So we'll be able to take a really good look at what a wash line is and you know how it can really contribute to the overall experience of a drink. So to make the last word, we're gonna take our cocktail shaker, I'm gonna put in two big old rocks. Then we're gonna start with our base spirit, which is Watershed Gin. This product, courtesy of Catoctin Creek Distilling Company out in Purcellville, Virginia, is one of my favorite local gins here in the Mid-Atlantic. It's been around for a while, so we're gonna add one ounce of that, just a consistent quality product, a price where you're not afraid to mix with it. Then we've got green chartreuse. This happens to be my favorite liquid on the planet. It's got over 120 herbs and spices in it. It's made by the Carthusian monks in France. It's a secret recipe. They're one of those orders that don't talk, right? They have a vow of silence. It's crazy, it's very fun, very fun ingredient, very complex, sometimes difficult to work with, but it's great with gin. So we're gonna add one ounce of that as well. And this happens to be a perfect ratio drink, like the Negroni for example, where you're putting in equal measures of each ingredient. So one ounce gin, one ounce of our chartreuse. Then we've got our maraschino liqueur, and this is Luxardo brand. And this is kind of the binding agent in this cocktail. It's mild, it's nutty, it's made from the macerated pits of the marasca cherry. And it's just kind of the ingredient that grabs all the others by the collar and says, play nicely because there are some intense flavors, depending on what gin you use, and certainly with chartreuse and lime juice. That, by the way, is our last ingredient. I pre-measured out one ounce of lime juice. So to summarize, one ounce each of the chartreuse, gin, maraschino, and fresh squeezed lime. That's all we gotta do, and because there's citrus, we're shaking and not stirring. Put our shaker in there. Let me give it a good shake. You really want to blend these flavors together because they, as I mentioned, they're pretty intense. Okay, got some good dilution going on in there. We're going to strain it into this coupe glass here. Break that seal. And if you want, if you've got a lot of ice chips in there, you can also choose to put it through a, a secondary, like one of those little sieves or a, you know, an, another finer mesh strainer than this Hawthorne strainer if you choose. All right. And that turned out just beautifully. Now, let's look at this wash line. This, to me, is a wash line that says, wow. This is a nice full drink, and yet I'm not too concerned about spilling, because you've got, you can see, it's got like a little sloshage uh, 
room built in. So this to me is a really nice wash line on a classic cocktail. Again, you pay attention to the wash line because it's one of those other little pieces of hospitality that you can do to your guests. And of course, what's better than a cocktail that looks this good before you even take the first sip? I'm Modern Bar Cart CEO, Eric Koslick. If you wanna learn more about Modern Bar Cart, head over to our website, modernbarcart.com. Of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you wanna get more great cocktail tutorials like this. And if you're a podcast listener, you can find the Modern Bar Cart podcast wherever you download your audio. Thanks for watching, and remember, drink responsibly, but experiment boldly. We have our lovely watershed, you f***ing limes.